Good morning, all of you, and let's hack this problem with just trigonometric substitution. So we have to find the ratio of these two integral. I'll first consider the numerator, and we can make a substitution of t square equals sine theta, and that leads the given integration gets converted to zero to pi over two. As you can see, at one it is pi over two. We have cos theta d theta over two root sine theta. Cos theta, which goes to half, zero to pi over two, d theta over root sine theta. Similarly, now let's consider the denominator, and now clearly one plus something a square gives a hint of making t a square as some, let's say, tan alpha. So that gives me four secant a square alpha d alpha. Divided by two root tan alpha and times second alpha. Now, here you can easily see it's half times zero to pi by four d alpha over root sine alpha cos alpha, right? Root sine alpha cos alpha. Now, clearly, root sine alpha cos alpha can be managed, so we'll multiply and divide by root two. And this part can be handled very easily because this is going to be half times root two, zero to pi over four, d alpha by root sine alpha. Right, it's sine two alpha, d alpha by. And this part can be handled very easily because it's d alpha by root over sine two alpha. And now that motivates me for a trigonometric substitution of two alpha as beta, which gives one over root two, zero to pi over two d alpha is d beta over two times root sine beta, and which goes to one by two root two, zero to pi over two d beta by root over sine beta. And essentially, this is same as the expression over here. So I can tell if numerator is n, denominator is d. We are having two n equals zero to pi over two d theta by root sine theta, and the same thing can be written from a two root two times denominator, and so by equating to get kicked off, and n by d equals root two. So it was a beautiful problem of its kind, where we don't need to find the numerator and denominator individually. But rather, their ratio is directly known to us. So this kind of substitution is very helpful in J kind of problem. I hope you must have enjoyed the problem, and I'll come with more problems of this variety in the upcoming lectures. Stay tuned to my channels. Thank you. Have a good day.